Hello, it's Leslie with Denmark's Vintage Cars, and we're going to do a walk around on this 1985 Lincoln Town Car Cartier Designer Edition. Really nice car, and I'm excited to tell you about it. And it is on no reserve auction on Bring a Trailer. Um, we have been on Bring a Trailer for a long time. We've sold over 400 cars there. Uh, we're dealers located in Oregon, and we just love old cars, trucks, motorcycles, automobilia, all of it. So really excited to show this one to you today. Um, it was bought new at Frank Nero Ford in Bedford, Ohio. It did spend most of its life in California after that. One family owned car. So the father, the, the guy who bought it worked at Ford. And so he had it through the years and then um, the son bought it from him and then um, now it's ours. So it was in their family. They just took good care of it, loved it, enjoyed it. If you know anything about the Cartier edition, it only comes in one color combination and it's this one's really classy. It's the Arctic white with platinum clear coat. So this is the color for the Cartier. So I'm going to do a exterior walk around. We'll also do interior under the hood, show you in the trunk so you can get a good sense of the car. I'll point out some things that I see on it. May not hit every single little thing, but I'll just point out the highlights that I see. Um, and we'll go from there. So we'll just start taking. So you'll see it's a car. It's in pretty nice condition. A few little touch-ups. There are some paint flaws on it. There's a couple paint flaws right here, a couple scratches. And I'll try to point those out. Like I said, I may not get every single one, but I'll point out the ones that stick out to me overall in good shape. You can see some aging on the, on the hood emblem. It's got a 302 motor in it. Air conditioning. That's, this is just a little dust right here. It's got air conditioning. There's an aftermarket radio in it as well. The hood and the top of the front fenders were repainted. It was just old due to some scratches. So that's been repainted. Um, the rest of the car looks to be original. There is a windshield chip here that was fixed at one point. Otherwise, it looks good. <clears throat> and you can see that there are the aluminum spoke wheels. They're not hubcaps. They're actual wheels on it. And it's wearing BFGs, um, P215-70R15s. And they are date code 2008. They look to be in pretty good shape, but just good to know that the date code is a little bit older on these. You can see a little bit of crazing on the on the uh, molding on the front windshield. The roof looks pretty good. There's a little bit more of that crazing right there. <laughs> so we've been selling on Bring a Trailer for quite a long time, and mostly. Um, my husband, Jason, has done it. You can see a little paint flaw here, a little crazing here. Um, and a few years ago, I started selling along with him. And the first car I sold on Bring a Trailer was a 1972 Lincoln Mark IV Continental. So Lincolns are close to my heart because that's what got me hooked on Bring a Trailer selling myself. And then you can see just a little more crazing right here. The roof's in pretty good shape. There is some staining right here. <laughs> you can see that the stitching, some of the loops have worn down as well. Just wanted to point that out. And if I, if I miss something or if you, you know, 
between this pictures and description there's something else that you want to see definitely let me know there's a little ding right here um, definitely let me know if you have questions or if you need to see something else that I that I missed or didn't hit or something we're happy to answer and we are dealers we're located in Salem Oregon um, so everything is sold as is and where is just because we're dealers you can see a couple paint chips here that you're welcome to come and look at it in person take it for a test drive just get in touch and we can arrange schedules to do that you can see the back window is in pretty pretty decent shape here and again just some of that wear on the loops it is a really nice car overall it's got its few it's got its few things but um really great car we've driven it around town and enjoyed it and everything works around this side these electronic locks are pretty cool you know I've seen those on Fords forever I have never personally tried to program them but I didn't know that they started doing that as early as 1985 they may have even done it before then but that seems like it was really ahead of its time but of course the Lincoln being there specialty fancy car it makes sense and here's this other wheel yeah so you can see just a nice car just it's got a couple things but pretty original overall it's got a great look to it comfortable to drive 302 motor it's got some neat features inside too so when i do the interior walk around we'll talk about um some of the driving features of it as well okay let's take a look under the hood at the 85 lincoln town car um you can see all this looks in great shape i mentioned that the hood and the front fenders had top of the fenders had been repainted at some point but really really good looking under the motor under the hood there's your 302 and it's been upgraded to R134A your sticker just a big old hood and the town car maybe not quite as big as the Continental but still big nonetheless you can see everything's in pretty good shape under here this car is just ready to ready to cruise take it on a road trip light works there to get in there's a latch inside and then you just push up on this when the excuse me you push up on this when the and then it unhooks the hood I just couldn't do it with one hand so I gave myself a head start hopefully that helps with a look under the hood okay let's take a look at the interior on the linky uh, it's really nice inside you can see a couple areas of just age and wear a little bit of staining right here um, from, you know, just years of driving it, etc. Overall, it's pretty clean. It's got electric about everything. So you've got electric mirrors, front tier tilt, rear tilt, your seats, your windows, door locks, all of that. Seats are in pretty good shape. You can see some age on those as well but overall pretty clean. More mats and I'll show you the carpet underneath. So you can see that is in pretty good shape. This plush, plush carpeting, which is one of the features for the Cartier. Along with the auction, you're gonna get the Deluxe Marty Report. 
and then also a brochure which kind of tells extensively about um, specifically the Cartier edition and the functions and features that it came with. So it's got automatic climate control. It came with the electronic dash. So um, I'll show you that later, but it's got, you know, speedometer is electronic, your fuel gauge is shows up electronically, etc. Those were always cool back in the day. Aftermarket radio. It's got intermittent wipers. Um, also, we believe it has rain sensing. Um, we were out driving it one evening in the rain. You can see a little bit of staining right here. <clears throat> and we believe they were picking up the rain sensing. So that was kind of cool. Headliner's in pretty good shape. Let me get back on it a little bit for you. No rips, no tears, looks clean. The interior is uh, white leather and dove gray, I believe. And that was specific to the Cartier edition. Back here, seats are in good shape. There's one little right here. There's a little rip right on the seam of the Lincoln emblem, just on this side. That's the only place I've noticed it. And then again, you can just kind of see some age. But overall, really, really nice. Come around to the other side. Very similar sheet shape of the seats. They're very plush, very comfortable. They feel exactly like a Lincoln seat. If you've ever ridden in a Lincoln, you know what I mean. But this is a great car. It's got tilt steering wheel. Did I say that already? I don't know. Um, it's got pretty much everything you could want. AC. Classy colors. Oh, and I'll show you in the glove box. Glove box is in good shape. And I like the Cartier emblems around. Yeah, so just a neat car. Did I show you this already? I think I did. We'll show it twice. <clears throat> Hope that helps. And again, let us know if you have any questions. We're happy to help however we can. And um, we've been around quite a long time and we're excited to present this one. It is no reserve, so there will be a new owner at the end of the auction. Okay, let's look in the trunk. Really nice back here. You've got your spare up here on the ledge. The jack is back behind. The carpet is in excellent shape. definitely grocery getter car or take a trip car. You can fit your suitcases in a car like this. This is the kind of trunk I needed raising four kids and making those trips to the grocery store. You can see this all looks in great shape too. Yeah, 
yeah, just overall really nice shape and clean back here, which is nice if you're gonna be putting anything in the back. It's nice to see that it's nice and clean and ready to go. cars and we're going to do a walk around on this 1985 Lincoln Town Car Cartier Designer Edition. Really nice car and I'm excited to tell you about it and it is on no reserve auction on Bring a Trailer. Um, we have been on Bring a Trailer for a long time. We've sold over 400 cars there. Uh, we're dealers located in Oregon and we just love old cars, trucks, motorcycles, automobilia, all of it. So really excited to show this one to you today. Um, it was bought new at Frank Nero Ford in Bedford, Ohio. It did spend most of its life in California after that. One family owned car. So the father, the, the guy who bought it worked at Ford. And so he had it through the years and then um, the son bought it from him and then um, now it's ours. So it was in their family. They just took good care of it, loved it, enjoyed it. If you know anything about the Cartier edition, it only comes in one color combination and it's this one's really classy. It's the Arctic white with platinum clear coat. So this is the color for the Cartier. So I'm gonna do a exterior walk around. We'll also do interior under the hood, show you in the trunk so you can get a good sense of the car. I'll point out some things that I see on it. May not hit every single little thing, but I'll just point out the highlights that I see um, and we'll go from there. So we'll just start taking a look around. You'll see a little bit of a uh, Okay, I did wanna show that the you can set the clock and the date, it was off. And so um, in, my, in the driving video, it wasn't the correct date and time. So I just wanted to show how you do it. So it's really easy. Basically you press reset, clock, and then you advance. So it's four, it's about 422 right now. So, and then you just press clock and you press through each um, selection. It is February 1st, Thursday, 422, and then you press through and then it, it's set. So um, I wanted to make sure that I could show you that as well. And just another nice feature of the car that does work. Okay, we're out in the 1985 Lincoln Town Car Cartier Edition. Wanted to just show some features in the car. We're gonna do a little drive here in a moment. Um, Jason's driving, but I wanted to show before we start driving, um, the radio. So turn it on here. And then when you press source for radio, then you can see, oh, open the door so they can hear the dinger. Yeah, so you can hear the dinger. Yeah. of the door and then you can see the antenna went up in the back and then go ahead and switch that off really right quick here. yeah and then you can see the antenna going down when you switch the radio off thank you okay and then we can go on a little drive and then just show you a few things it's got the electronic dash so you can see your fuel um, we'll show them driving in a second with the speedometer and everything. Go ahead and show the blinkers. So there's left indicator, right indicator, and then wipers. And like I said in the video, in the... I forgot to do the wipers. Oh, the interior we video. We're pretty sure they're rain sensing. They're intermittent as well, but um, we're pretty sure they're rain sensing too. So, and then the horn honks, and then let's oh, go... Okay. Yeah, I was just going to say oh, one yeah. thing. That little shifter thing. We're going to look at that. Oh, yes. But it's in new it's not really a neutral. So it's off by one thing. So It's off by one click. This would be neutral. 
and then you don't see it reverse and then park. So if you're gonna be in drive, you're gonna be in that end. Yeah. And it, sometimes there's a little spring in there, but we'll look at it. We might not be able to fix it though. Yeah, and then it's got all these electronic dash. So this was kind of cool. So you have your, your clock and everything, and then there's this checkout button. So then it shows, it goes through like a little um, check process. So it tells you that you're okay with your charging system, your oil pressure, engine temp. It tells you that just that everything is working. So I thought that was pretty cool. I wish it would tell me my hair looked good. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, and then you turn it off. Yeah, yeah. and then you turn it off when you're done. So these are all of your all of your buttons. And then you have your trip log over here, which is kind of nice. So very fancy. And then it's got automatic climate control too, which is really nice. So you can hear that switch on. Oh, and because it has the aftermarket radio, you don't use this antenna button. It comes up and down with the radio itself. So let's go for a little drive. Okay, which way you want me to go? And go right. Okay. Go by by the brush cutter up here. Yeah. That guy was just at our house, and we're not very happy. No, he likes to cut down our ornamental trees. They're not weeds, but anyways. Okay, so and then um, the cruise control works. Yeah, let me see. As well, so. Whoop! I have a, not getting in the wrong lane. Yeah, so it's on now. Yeah, so he's got cruise on now. So that's really nice feature to have. I mean, pretty much everything works. I showed this in the photos too, but the um, both the lights work on the mirrors. I won't show his since he's driving. Then you have your map lights up here that work. So that's kind of cool. Just an all around nice driving car. It's got its few things. Anything else that I... I don't think so. That I didn't show. I think I think I pretty much got it. And you get the manual with it. And then um, there's a, a booklet that shows about the um, automatic, the trip display and everything, which is really nice too. So hopefully that helps. Okay, I wanted to show you just like one little feature of the car. Um, it was worth making a little video of it. So in the back, in the back seat, you have your two switches. You have the window and you have the light. So this one's the window and then this is the rear light. So it'll switch that on and off. And then on the other side, same thing, on and off. And the windows do work. And I'll show you this one too, since I'm back here. 